Got it. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up back and just say penguin. Uh, ooh, Phantasm Woman is kind of cool. We are. This is Phantom, by the way. In case, in case anybody here wants to rear draft, we cannot rear draft this. Instead, we are going to try to draft the best deck that we can. Our last card is. <laughs> Join the draft and get your packages. Uh, our last card is Pilfered Plans. Then just says the pieces are here now. I just need to pick up a bigger hard drive. That's so exciting. Then Jack, when are you gonna build it? Can we get like the play-by-play -play for it? Because I'm very excited for you. Greetings from Lithuania. Lithuania. So, man, what time is it in Lithuania? It's like sleepy time, basically. Fantastical image is like a two mana Dinrova Horror, yes. I mean, that's the plan, right? Ooh, I have to finish my remaining Phantom Modern Masters draft matches. Oh, that's this. It's beautiful in Boston. It's pretty nice here. Wait, why did, uh... Why did Enchanted get timed out? <laughs> oh, rare drafting by... <laughs> rare drafting by principle. <laughs> Wednesday most likely. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna jam today and tomorrow because we can't on Wednesday, unfortunately. Image is great for when you are lucky enough to get the robot horse. I didn't get any yesterday, but I can get one now. Hey, Senor Bun, how are you? Are you sleepy? Yeah. Speaking of two mana, didn't robot horse. I don't think I take anything else in this pack either, right? It's a lovely seventy-two degrees here in OKC. Wow, what's it like? What's it like, Pac? It is only 61 degrees and rainy here. It's actually, like, really ugly out, just because it's raining hardcore. Uh, we could take a green splash for putrefy. Um, wow, it's, like, so much nicer everywhere else than here. We could also just take in Tumor Exarch, which I do like. Copying Tumor Exarch with Phantasmal Image is pretty sweet. You got Pine Sap all over your hands and it won't come off. Oh, yeah, that's 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 loose in your bun. <laughs> the Salt Ice Special. Yeah, I like in Tumor. I think I'm gonna take in Tumor. Probably in Tumor for Derova Horror number two. Yeah. They kill our horror, and then we tumor Exar and copy it with Phantasmal Image. Yes. You've been pretty impressed by Exar. I played with it twice, and both times I thought it was pretty good. I was, I was happy with my choice. Um, maybe we could just take the Mirror Guild Gate. There's like nothing else that we really want. We could take Spire Monitor, but I feel like that thing just wheels all the time. Flicker the horror much deeper. Oh yeah, tumor Exar is good at returning Phantasmal Image to copy the robot horror. That's what I was saying, BK. It was solid to pod up too. Oh, could you put this in pod decks? As a four? Demir Guildgit helps us cast the BB on Exarch and recur Phantasmal Image to copy the Robo Horror. Alright, I am going to take Demir Guildgate. Um, wow, I've never actually gotten to play with Azure Mage, and I think that's just what I want. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen the art in this card. It's kind of lewd. If I were Azure Mage, I would not feel comfortable with the level of protection that's going on over there. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> He's just gonna keep going, Molly, you know that. He could just works himself up and just keeps going. He just keeps going. Late Mage? Yeah, I think we just take this, right? Our other option is what, Wall of Frost? You hadn't noticed how lewd this is? Yes, it is very lewd. Hold on. Is it Tarogasm, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to start recording the draft. Oh, dumb me. I guess I can go back and get it out of the. God, I keep forgetting to start recording the drafts every time I do it. Why? Hey, boss man, welcome. You played Azure Mage at Nationals and Tapter many times. Jesus Christ! This is an activated ability! A 
chat will remember from this one. Thank you. Thank you, chat. You guys got my back. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna take here. I don't like any of this. I think I'll take Is It Charm, just because it Charm's cool. I mean, I'm sure she attacks him. Don't give him a nap, Molly. What are you doing? Oh, BK, I had that happen the other day in Modern Masters Draft. That was like, okay, at end step, I wanna... I want a Grizzly Spectacle. I think I'll just take a Gnawing Zombie here. You want to take Mystical? Mm, no, I think I'm going to take Gnawing Zombie. It's like, it's not great, but it's an early defensive creature. Here I can take Crippling Chiller Night Terrors, leaning towards the Terrors. You're just a very fair person. Well, have you considered that maybe you're being too fair to somebody who maybe doesn't require the fairness? We're gonna stop it only because I got too much respect for the stream. I could also just time you out, BK. That would actually get you to stop, right? <laughs> hey, Squirrel, how are you? Uh, I mean, Crippling Chill might be okay. I think I'd more likely to start a cripple Crippling Chill than start a... Uh, you beat him in another Eternal Draft soon to compensate? Yeah! You're a gold snake, you can't touch me, but nice try. <laughs> Is that how it works? Here we take Cower and Fear, Pilfered Plans, or Mystical Teachings. I think we are much more likely to get another Mystical Teaching, so I'd rather take Cower and Fear. I've been impressed with this card. We played against some decks where I was like, we either started it or we boarded it in and like our opponents could not win. Uh, yeah, we'll take Traitor, Bolas this time. Ghosty Flicker's fine. The de the the pack got a lot worse for us as it went. We actually wheeled some stuff though. You heard tie you up? Nah, just time you out. I do need to get a little sweater. It's kind of chilly here. Mortician Beetle, we did it. Sorry, I meant to say we, can, we started out real strong and then we kind of like fizzled, but we actually wheeled all the cards that we wanted to wheel, so. Can we sing you be shocked? Dokomoi, I can't help it. We open Phantasmal Image. Wheel of Frost. Ooh, evil twin. Our last card is Hanweer Lancer. You may have evil twin enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except the gains. Blue, black, destroy target creature with the same name as this creature and it's a tap ability so you have to wait until the following turn. Um... Yeah, I think we just take Evil Twin. If Evil Twin weren't in this pack, what would we take? Yeah, no. Yeah, I agree with both DC and BK. Like, even if we wield cards that are not super exciting, it means that we are wielding cards that we want, which is good for promising for the next two packs. Signature Guildgate? Yeah, probably. I think I probably take the Signet at that point. Or we're saying if like an evil twin weren't in the pack. Ooh, these are both very good. Um, I kind of like Nighthawk a lot. There's actually a lot of stuff in this pack. We could wheel some some interesting things. Like if we wheel a Guildgate, that could be good. I don't know that we're super likely to play Core Master, but. Biki knows how to play Twin Decks right here. Uh, allegedly, he hasn't played a Twin Deck in a very long time. Mm. Now, Biki, the question was, what do we take here if Evil Twin weren't in the pack? Gifted Etherborn? What are you talking about? To be fair, you did force it a lot in cube. <laughs> Remove twin, and Mika has a heart attack. Story checks out. I think I'm gonna take Vampire Nighthawk. I mean, Wing Splicer is very good. Actually, I should have taken the Nighthawk. I regret it now. Mm. Hey, okay, well, this was the first time stuff. Well, wait. It could be a pregnancy going to terms. <laughs> Volcanoes with a 9 month resub, welcome back. So I changed some stuff with my alerts, let's see if this time they work. 
I noticed right now that it didn't say how many months you've been resubbed, so I'll have to fix that. But uh, maybe this time they won't stick, which is good. Yeah, Malves, I am drafting UB again. I think I just take Cackling Counterpart. Uh, so Draxa Spectre is very good. But this just copies more than Rova Horrors. So I think I've liked, I've been very impressed with Cackling Counterpart. Ooh. This is good for us again. We can take another Azure Mage. We can take Seagate Oracle, which I like quite a bit, in Tandem Lookout. I think it's just Azure Mage again. And it doesn't look like we're splashing for either of these right now. We have definitely not gotten any fixing for it. Am I afraid of vampires? No, I love vampires. Why? Lewd Mage? Yes. <laughs> Lewd Mage. Yeah, but okay, I saw that it was nine months. That's why you said that the reference to the baby, too. I was like, this is weird because it showed up as a new sub. Um, so I fixed my notifications, but I think what it did is it removed the thing that says times nine. So I'm going to have to fix that uh, after the fact. You think C gets smooth, smooths out draws? You think Tandem is dope AF? More than Azure Mage? I do like Tandem Lookout. I actually like Seagate Oracle better. Oh, I see what you mean, BK. I gotcha, I gotcha. So I took Seagate Oracle just because I like this card a lot. I think I like it more than Tandem Lookout. And now we can take Denrova Horror number two. So in the deck we have one, two, one Denrova Horror, two Denrova Horror, three Denrova Horror, four Denrova Horror, five Denrova Horror. Mm, potentially six in Roba Horror. Potentially seven in Roba Horror. Horror number seven. Horror count is seven. Alright. Ooh, this card is totally worth splashing for if we can get away with it. Two, white, blue. Yeah, we can make this work. Uh, it's amazing. We'll just have to prioritize some fixing. And to be clear, Shimmering Grotto will not be the fixing that we prioritize. <laughs> Nothing here is good. We could take Momentary Blink if we're already on the like Splash White plan. That means it is a charm. Yeah, you have to take Witch. It's like Baby Dead Eye. Yeah, I'll take. I've been very impressed with that Witch. I've also lost horribly to that witch so so this deck needs some dead i still locked did you see my deck yesterday were you here yesterday i think you were um that deck had dead eye and it was sick uh yes orso of guild gate i would like that very much now we can cast also which was the token deck yes that also Look at this late seance. Not that seance does anything in this form. Uh, oh, this is kind of garbage. Hot garbage. Seance is another horror. <laughs> this is hot garbage. We'll take crippling chill and put it on the sideboard, I think. Oh, as always, go get is perfect for us. I don't really care about corpse connoisseur or bone splinters. Uh, we can take Trader of Bolas, Pit Keeper for the sideboard. Uh, yeah, we could take a Talon Trooper. Agent of Masks. I don't think I want to play that card. I'm also probably not playing this Talon Trooper. Sideboard Gift for the non interactive. Which gift? Okay, let's get something sweet. Did I navigate her please one time? You could probably do one if there were only two packs. Yeah, this deck is not bad. We would add the crippling chill talent trooper. Maybe we'd have to make our mana base a little bit more splash white. Add the talent trooper, the crippling chill, and maybe like the pit keeper. Call it a day. What would we take out of here? We'd probably take out the core hook master. And we would play the Talon Trooper. Mm. Last card is Strength and Numbers. I don't actually think Gifts Are Given actually does anything for us.
I think we've taken two more eggs arc number two. Thank you, Copter. Yeah, we're not going to splash the Hookmaster, don't worry. We might splash for the momentary blink, potentially. It depends on how many white sources we get. We have two so far that are free. Do you guys think it's a second Exarch? Alright. I don't think it's anything else. It's not even close. Uh... Once again, nothing here is anything we want. We have the ghostly flicker already, which I'm not even sure that we're going to play. Bone Splinters is not good in our deck. No land fixes anything here. We could take Simic Signet as a blue signet. Or we could take Inquisition. Hey, Jobbles. You don't hate half signet? Yeah, that's what I'm leaning to. I've actually been very impressed with signets. Because I feel like this deck goes so often from like 2 to 4. Like there's so many good 4 drops. Yeah, it's a blue signet. Alright, let's take the Simic Signet. Oh, our King Sanctum has to be our pick here. It has to be better than Terminus. I don't even think Terminus is that good. I wouldn't mind taking another Seagate Oracle, but I think our King Sanctum just like does everything we wanted to. Most of your creatures have dope ETBs, I think ghostly flickering. I think it's going to be <laughs> Gabby click noise in your deck. <laughs> yeah, I okay. BK, the only reason I wouldn't want to is because I wanted to make sure that we had enough white sources to splash this but now we are at three free white so we're kind of getting there hey, yes thank you for the follow uh i think this is probably just soul manipulation we could take another lewd mage even more lewd i think soul manipulation is just better The one thing that's kind of stinky is that we don't have, like, we probably don't want to play this Wall of Frost, I don't think. So let's take that. Uh, nothing here for us. I take Grasp of Phantoms. For the first time ever, we didn't actually end up with like a million fours, because usually we end up with a bunch of Mist Ravens, Wing Splicers. Grasp of Phantoms, Soul Ransoms, uh, Falkenrath Nobles. This is Phantom, Mr. Ghost. The better your draft is going, the more biased you should be towards taking good lands generally. That's fair. So let's take Grasp of Phantoms. Uh, we could take off another off color signet. We could take a Wall of Denial, but for that matter, we already kind of have Wall of Frost. We could take Spire Monitor num number two. Or we could take Mystical Teachings that tutors Cackling Counterpart to copy either of these things. It also tutors Crippling Chill, Ghostly Flicker, uh, Cower and Fear, Soul Manipulation. Do you guys think I should take Wall of Denial? It does have Defender. Uh, sorry, it does have Shroud. Signet seems nice. I love Wall of Denial. We could just take Wall of Denial. You take Teachings? I'm gonna take Wall of Denial. I've never gotten to play with it, so we'll see how the, that goes. Hey, Rabbits, how are you? Welcome. People think that Wall of Denial is pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is that we have to splash white for it. That I'm not a big fan of. I'm not usually a big fan of teachings, but we have Cackling Counterpart, its stock goes way up. That's fair. There's a chance we get another teachings is the other thing, BK, because I really haven't been impressed with teachings. Um, I think I want Pilfered Plants instead of Trader of Bolas. <laughs> I don't think we have to play this Gnawing Zombie either. This is also a new target for our Augur, which is good. Azorius Guildgate is pretty good once we have taken Wall of Denial, Momentary Blink, and Miss Meadow Witch. Because I'm taking 4 out of here. Yeah, so I'm at 23. So this is 23 playables. Yeah, that's not bad. Hey Simon, how are you? Senior's plans is fun. If you have Cackling Counterpart and your other draw teachings, you basically can never run the things to do with him in the whole game. That's fair. Uh, I think we're very happy to pick up the Azorius Guildgate here, and then 
We could take Corpse Connoisseur. Search your library for a creature card and put it into your graveyard if you do shuffle your library. But we don't really have that much that goes with this. It works kind of with Entumor if we cast an Entumor from our hand. We don't have any creatures that have a flashback or like on Earth. I think I'll just take Terrors and put it in the sideboard. I already have my first Ghostly Flicker and I don't think I'd play two, so I'll just take Inquisition. We might want to board that in. Another Momentary Blink. I don't mind this. Mortician Beetle. Explore. Night Terrors again. And Revive. Okay. You want Grotto Rabbits? No, I hate Grotto. It's so bad. It is like my f least favorite land ever. I'm always so unhappy when I draw it. It never fixes things the way I want it to. I'm gonna go get a snacky too. I'm a little hungry. I'm spoiled by, by what? Good mana bases? <laughs> <laughs> second Cowering Fear might be a more impactful card when you're pulling second blink. Mm. Fair enough, BK. Okay, so what are the things that are not in the main deck that we could play? Maybe Agent of Masks. Uh, maybe Wall of Frost. Probably not if we're playing Wall of Denial. Not Crippling Chill. No Mortician Beetles, no Pit Keepers, no Night Terrors. Probably not Talon Trooper. Try playing Wizard School and Lava Tubes. <laughs> so how many targets does Agent or that does Augur have? Has one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Nine hits? That's not bad. Could be worse. If we take momentary blink out, we make the each auger worse. Thank you, Copter. I appreciate it. Crippling chill is the crack and hatching of instant sure. We cut crippling chill, would you just start this? This is twenty-three. And I would actually want to play 17 lands with this. I go Guildgate, 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 Arcane Santum. How many free white do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'd have six white sources, four, five, six, seven black sources, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blue sources. So we have way too many blues compared to swamps. And we could, I think, maybe use one less a white source. And then play as a swamp. Because I want to make sure that I hit my tumors. so that's six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine black sources, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue sources, and one, two, three, four, five white sources. That seems pretty good. It's not like we're casting the momentary blinks, like, pretty early. The Wall of Denial is not that big of a deal. We can't play it. This is hybrid, so we can play it whenever. I would try to play Agent of Mask, but I have no clue what to cut. Maybe a Nogger. I can see that. DC. I could see that. I could cut a Swamp and play another Plains and then play Agent. Sixth white source versus ninth black source is pretty close. I think you have it right as is. Saying right as is is hard, BK, when the thing is changing all the time. So using like a numeric value, actually. You cut tower and fe cower and fear and play agent, maybe? Like that. Yeah, fallen one. <laughs> Surprise! Dude, I can't help it. It's like the best thing to draft. Yeah, we could try this. You would not play Agent? What would you play then, BK? Hey, Silent, how are you? 
This is short one. Because we took out the cower in fear. And there's like nothing really I would play over it. I actually would rather play just cower in fear. You like agent? I haven't been super impressed with this card, I'm not gonna lie. All of Frost. How is Agent an uncommon? Oh, that I don't know. Isn't Wall of Frost just great? Well, I have Wall of Denial, so... I don't think I want two walls. I'm just gonna start the Cower in Fear, I think. We'll see how that goes, but I feel like that card's pretty good, so... I have enjoyed it, I have enjoyed playing with it, and I... You think you play Wall of Frost? Well, let's do this. I'm gonna start the... Cower in Fear, and then if... It feels like we need walls, we'll just play walls. Okay. We're on the draw. I think we keep this. It's not very good. We would like to draw a white source. I want to make this a lot better. Oh, wait. I kept this without... I thought I had it. I thought this was a blue source somehow. Jesus. I wouldn't have kept. I would have mulliganed. But this works. I thought... I swear I thought this was an island. Uh, I might have still kept, actually, even if I didn't have an island. I think I still would have kept, now that I think about it. Oh yeah, it was very... Just draw like Gabby and it's fine. I think I actually would have kept Chop. Like, even still. Just because we were on the draw. <laughs> this keep was as loose as the luck was real? Yes. Oh. That I'm not excited about. Yeah, no, Rabbits, I thought I had an island in hand, and I thought I could, like, get rolling once I had Soul Manipulation, Grasp of Phantoms up. I didn't realize that I kept two swamps, but we're counting whatever this is. Well, so when we draw land next we can grasp it. Hey, Korea 10 with a 7 month so welcome back. Ugh! This is brutal. <laughs> you guys can we get some hyper love and hype in chat for that seven month return. It is much appreciated. How are you doing today, Creatin? So this is nice. We have a white source now. But it also means that we can't play anything this turn. Also, this says whenever a creature blocks, a creature's control takes one life. So that's kind of annoying with uh, this. We're going to have to find a better way to deal with this. I... Oh, this is unfortunate. I can't... play... Wall of Denial and also play Signet this turn. Hey, Bruno Overlord, how are you? Are you playing one more today? Yeah, Bruno. I will be playing one more today. Wait, I can? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, I can. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Why did I think this was... Yeah, I totally can. Okay, well, this at least slows down this guy. And what, are they going to come here with, like, a spire monitor? Oh, I guess not. Charm into wall? I mean, signet into wall? I guess this is gonna ping us to death, 12 turns. Uh, we really wanna draw lands. I guess we'll just grasp a phantoms, this guy. 
Mm, we could just also play a Spire Monitor at the end of the turn. Yeah, let's just play Spire Monitor, I think. They should reprint Wall of the Nile and Emlyn Kid fitting flavor wise, that's funny. Why, why? I don't think I need a Grasp of Phantoms right here yet. Grasping while I got no nothing going on. I don't know, I kind of wanted to get my Spire Monitor down and then grasp it next turn. Sure. I'll grasp it next turn. Evil Twin? Oh, I'm just gonna grasp it. For... I assume my spire monitor is going to die here. No. What is their hand? Is it all lands? I would assume they have removal because... That's fine. This is where you think Wall of Frost is better than Denial? Uh, yeah. God, we're setting up so nicely to have this Denrova Horror be copied like a bajillion times, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, let's just attack with Spire Monitor. We'll just play Evil Twin, I guess. Copying this thing. Alright. Also, now that they attack, I'm just gonna trade. Or block and then untap. I guess if I don't draw a land, I do want to just activate this, right? They can regen. I guess I don't have the regen mana. This gives it first strike. 2x carnage triggers. Oh, does this trigger for me too? Oh, fuck. It, do it definitely does. Never mind. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. And they do have rend- Ugh. Yeah, I guess I'll just chump it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. Yeah, it's fine. Dude, we- This is fine. See, we draw land. We just bounce that thing. It is, Rev. It's this, this game has been kind of a mess. It's actually going to be okay. They discarded what island? Yeah, it looks like they really did just have lands. I don't know. We are just fine here. Wish we could reveal hands so opponent could just scoop. Just like you cannot beat this. <laughs> Unless they ultimatum us. Uh, I think if they ultimatum us, we're still fine fine because we have the Nerova Horror and we can keep at least like we have to discard a card momentary blink gets the flashback counter cackling counterpart has flashback too Valkarath Noble is fine are they gonna carnage gladiator now So they have no attacks here. I guess they could suicide the Hanweir Lancer into my Denrova Horror to drain me also with Falconrath Noble. 
Any recommendations on consisting mana for four man type deck? Take a lot of gates is my recommendation for that. Uh God, if we drew another land, this would have been sick. Let's calculate and counterpart this thing. Hey Zach, welcome back with a nine month resub! You guys can you get some hyper loves. It's been that long already. Gabby and hyphen jam TGH height TGH love. Thank you. Viper love and hyphen chat for that nine month return. It is much appreciated, Zach. I hope you're having a lovely day today. How are you doing, my friend? Let's see what they discard. The funny thing, bow splinters. The funny thing is they don't know they're not gonna actually get to keep it. <laughs> Carnage Gladiator. You get to go back. I mean, I guess they could keep it if they wanted to. Could have gone with Ghostly Flicker to flicker both. I don't even. There goes the Carnage Gladiator. So they still have a Falconrath Noble. Uh... Did you want to blink what? So th this is these are two tokens. That actually doesn't work. We kill the one that we don't do that to. We need to do it to not... This is token, token, this is non-token. Hey, send the boom. No worries, bottom. You want to exarch first? Me. I guess exarching first is is correct because we can both exarch and blink. We have enough mana to do both. Because we have six, right? Yeah, because we cast in Ruba Horror. We haven't drawn a land since. Phantasmal image could copy an undying creature and have it come back with as a zero zero with a plus one plus one counter so you could rest an angel and blink it later. Wait, what? Oh cause it would act cause it would it would die but it would come back. My opponent disconnected. I think my opponent's off it. Can we side out your nonsense please? Rabbits, this deck is great. What are you talking about? I've seen some wild plays in my day. Squirrel loot. Uh, I mean, you saw that in standard, right? Okay. I think Wall of Frost is actually better against a Carnage Gladiator. Hey, Benign Troll, welcome. Lately, I've started to think that the Nerva Horror could be better than Ancestor Recall. Nerva Horror is great. We were discussing how Fantasmal Image only gets the sack if text copy something which you usually have to do because it's a zero zero i think my opponent might have scooped i'm not even joking it i got a notice that said your opponent disconnected so so i'm just gonna make that change because i think my opponent might not be here can't momentary blink ancestral sometimes magic lets you play zero zeros and they don't die spooky so how does that interaction work, BK? You copy an undying creature and then have it come back as a zero zero with a plus one plus one counter so you could rest the angel and blink it later. So it means it doesn't die. Why am I afraid of having both walls in my deck? I don't think I need both walls. I think I just need one of them. I put in his back. Okay. When which comes back with undying, you copy a new creature. Sure, and now it has a plus one plus one counter on it. Uh, yeah, let's 
let's go Azure Mage. Well, we can, we can go Azure Mage into all Frost into Entomber Exarch. Our mana base is great. And have White in play also. That's pretty sweet. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> In the good old days, we killed our guys insane traps with our clones when we liked it. I used to remember, I used to have a Holy of Aldaren in a Jund aggro deck, and the only reason you had that is because you could never beat that card, so you just had to have your own copies to, you would only use them to blow up the other Olivias. I think I'm gonna Entomber Exarch to get Azure Mage back. Demir Signet is fine. We would love to stop drawing lands at this point. Um, so I'm actually not gonna play Azure Mage. I think I'm just gonna play Spire Monitor at the end of the turn, and then next turn I can go Azure Mage and activate it. So even if they have removal spell, I get to use it one time. That was a very good draw, otherwise I would have been tempted to run out of range. I might have still waited. Yeah, Molly, that's exactly what I was thinking. Huzzah. Uh, Trying a 5 drop synergize as well with your line, yeah, that it does. What is my opponent on there? They just manuscript and they have like a million 5 drops? I don't know what's going on. Evil twin. Ooh, hello. Hello. I'm gonna blink in Tumor Exarch. Let's see what's going on in their hand. Ooh, they have they have they have something to say about that. They drew a counter spell now. Counter target creature spell and they can't do anything else, that's fine. I don't think I even want to blink evil twin. Let's play Ozark Guildgate and then I'll draw with Azure Mage at the end of their turn. Why not play around Damnation? I mean, I'm not playing any more cards at this point, but. So Drax's Spectre is fine. We passed on Exarch Twin, sorry. Yeah, soul manipulation is good. I don't even really care about Zodraxa Spectre, I don't think. So, I think I'm just gonna... Tackle these two. Oh, actually, do we put him in a spot? If we attack with Azure Mage 2, because they block Azure Mage for sure. And then they take 5. This is Phantom Bass. I'm just trying to figure out if I should attack with Azure Mage or not. Get info. You think I should Soul Manipulation to get back Miss Meadow Witch? <laughs> Squirrel. That line almost is almost works out. I think I'm gonna attack with Azure Mage. Copy Exarch, get back Witch, Blink Exarch, Duress. I'm gonna draw once. Blink Splicer is good. I'm just gonna let this happen, I'm gonna have Soul Manipulation for their next turn, and then I'm gonna pass and... Twin the Exarch and Duress. Sure, we could have seen what was going on in their hand, maybe take away... 
They can't have a wrath though. They would have cast that already, right? This is fine. Wasn't evil twin lethal? No. No, it wasn't. Yeah, our opponent gave up. Yeah, it's not like duplicate. You need to wait a second to top it. All right, I'm going to get a sweater real quick and I'll be right back. Hello. We got a sneaky sub. <laughs> Send the boom for the first time sub. Welcome. Thank you everybody in chat. For celebrating. It is much appreciated, Sneaky. Sneaky send the boom, huh? playing accordingly. Mm. The snake hydra that was spoiled today, BK, is a sneaky snake. That reminds me, I should actually tweet out about it. I previewed a card today on Daily MTG, you guys. You can find it if you go to dailymtg.com. Mm. We're on the draw, we don't have blue mana. <laughs> we'll be disappointed to learn that there's not always a handsome chair streaming. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this because if we get to pill for plans, it's pretty good. Awesome, Benign. Yeah, I got to preview that today. Bam, we did it. I've done more promotion for your article than you have. Yes, I should actually, I'll, I'll do that like right at the end of this game. Oh god, we're dead. We're dead. Yeah, 
enter scoop phase. We are, we are so done. Always veggie one bet, always. I'm gonna use it now before they can activate the Rizaka. Keep it would have shrunk their two creatures and forced them. Oh, I guess like we give them, we're still reducing two damage that we're taking, so we actually give them a choice of spending two mana there. Yeah, that is strictly better. Fantasmal image has to be pretty good here. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm keeping it there. It is it is actually strictly better. All right, we did. So, we're playing against a very aggressive like BTE, multiple BTEs, Blood Rush deck. I think we were very dead BK, what are you talking about? Yeah, I was looking at Inquisition 2. Do you see? It's just like early interaction. Yeah, I'm taking out momentary blank. Maybe ghostly flicker. Maybe I want to board out of blue. Oh, I guess no. Sorry, white. But my wall denial is really good. Maybe I cut another momentary blink. I'm bringing that crippling chill. So I brought in multiply. I'm eating some carrots with hummus. Bringing in Inquisition, crippling chill. Um. I still want to keep the car in fear, even though it doesn't. It seems like it hits half of their deck. Hookmaster might be okay. I don't. I'm not gonna bring it, but it might be okay. Maybe we want to have gnawing zombie. Mm. We can't keep this. If we had blue, we could. God damn. We keep this one and we hope that we get a blue source here. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I've been done. It's pretty good.
Mm. We're dead. <laughs> that actually could have been a lot worse, so. Mod Flunkies might have done this in. We're not even close to the Nerova Horror number one, so it can't beat the Nerova Horror number two. I'm just gonna take Augur here, I think. We actually really wanted to see a land there. <laughs> Basically turns <turned> redrawn. <laughs> But night troll, you should try it. It's very good, especially if you're a vegetarian. It's a nice way to get protein. So they for sure have like um, a blood rush creature here. If I block the BT, I save more. I save more damage, but. If I put it in front of the goblin, I kind of force them to use their trick. So, I think I'm going to block a goblin. Kind of put him on a bind. Yeah, there you go. So we force them to use their trick. My guy dies horribly. Scorch Rizaka. Alright. Uh, Trader of Bolas it is. Three lands go to the bottom. Just watch this. Oh, wow. Inquisition is actually fine here. Let's take Inquisition. Two spells, one turn. Bam. What's going on over here? Pyrewald, Shaman, Strength in Numbers, and a Gore Clan Rampager. Mm. We're dead. <laughs> we can't beat their hand. I think we take strength in numbers and we have Pyrewald Shaman and Tipper Cat back to the A plus dress from the opponent. So we know in Tumor Exarc can't. Gabby, do you know how I can see cards that I don't own them to do and add them to decks? Yeah, Slimy Walrus, you have to change the number of cards. There's a setting that says, like, show me cards I own, and you can change it to cards I don't own, and then you'll just see all of them. I'm just gonna get Secret Oracle back. Oh, they had a Rubble Maka too. So they still have Pyrewall Shaman. Okay, so the only way we don't die here is if I go Seagit Oracle and I find exactly an island. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's so brutal. God damn. We might have been able to survive, by the way. If we found an island there. We got brown. <laughs> well, I did the same. We also drafted a Grixis control deck with Cruel Ultimatum. We 306 owed. That's what this deck needs, it needs more Cruel Ultimatum. If we had more Cruel Ultimatum, we wouldn't have lost against the Burning Tree Emissary deck. We actually would have gotten smashed, like way worse probably. <laughs> Remember when this was a luck stream? <laughs> nice try, my friend. Looks like I live in an MTG museum. Yeah, do you like my exhibit? With Spicer is a great draw. A plus would draw again. And we have momentary blink. Gas. Mm, that was some lovely hummus. Mm. Alright, what's up? Mmm. So you probably just go wing splicer on four. And on five we might. You're excited to blink an evil twin? That's pretty sweet too. So they're playing a three drop on turn two? Our opponent's draw was kind of clunky. They have like infinite. Yeah. None other than the traitor. Nothing? Obviously nothing. Never with Trader Obolas! Never! Yeah, let's just go Wing Splicer. And the next turn we can go Seagate Oracle into maybe a momentary blink if we find a land. That'd be sick. Ooh. I get a foil token too. How you like me now, chat? Anyone had tahini cookies? No, but you're making me really want... I think I'm gonna want to momentary blink the wing splicer next at the end of the turn, no, almost no matter what. So, I think I am gonna play island. Um, and I'm gonna attack with the golem. It could also just like end step spire monitor maybe. Agro spray is fine. I think I want to blink it now that I know my opponent's tapped out. So let's go Seagate Oracle. Uh, 
Uh, wait, what is this message that I got? This is weird. Whoa. What is this? Uh, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, what am I taking? Agra bullets, probably? And two more Exarch. And two more Exarch. And let's momentary blink this guy. Oh, wow, it had spell pierce? Alright, good beats. I thought I was doing it right there, and there was, like, no chance they, uh... Could counter me, but I guess Spell Pierce gets us. I don't even think Spell Pierce is very good. Are they unmoist Mardu or <laughs> Light Grixis? <laughs> Pilford Plans is fine. I need another Swamp so I can cast in two more Exarch. Yeah, that's true. You are right about that. Um, I think I'm just gonna play land and pass. I'll uh, spire monitor at the end of their turn. I would love to cast this in two more Exarch, but it's not happening yet. How much is this to flashback? Four? Lingering Souls is kind of annoying. They didn't cast the backside of it. Interesting. Still gonna jam though. Alright, now we get to see what they're working with. Let me see what you're working with. What you doing? They're letting it resolve. Target you. Oh, this ghostly flicker is gonna be real good. <laughs> oh snap! Wow, these are some really good cards. So we don't want to get unburial rights into their yard, I don't think. What can they even get back right now? They have no creatures. Oh, they have a sensor splicer in the yard. Uh, I think I want to take Grizzlies. No, 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 Novus. You do not get to exile. And two more Exarch is just discard. So I think I take... Grizzly Spectacle, and we're gonna have to get aggressive. What's up? Might have to discard on burial right once anyway, otherwise you'd have to play t two X to reanimate. Your ghosty flicker beats the removal at the moment though. Yeah, I mean Hey Darth, how are you? Yeah, I'm not totally sure exactly what I wanna do yet. Uh I can't cast evil twin yet. Uh I'm gonna let them Forbidden alchemy right now. And then I think I'll ghostly flicker. You wanna flicker on their draw step? Yeah, that's fair. We can do that on their turn. I was thinking about end stepping it after they go Forbidden Alchemy, but we could also just draw step it and see what we get. And flicker the wing splicer and the like entumor. Yeah, 
Okay, so let's let them forbidden alchemy. Let's see what they find. Yeah, DC. Uh, they abyssal spectered carnage gladiators and cackling counterpart. Okay, so let's now draw step this. How much is Niv is it? It's six, right? And it's hey, goody, how are you? Is this the same guy from before? No. And so it's five. They don't have, they don't have second blue to cast their Niv Mizzet. So we could take Demir Signet, or we could just take on Burial Rites, and then they won't be able to write two creatures. Otherwise, next turn we have to deal with Niv Mizzet. I think I want to take the mirror signet, try to stop them from casting Nimbus. Nimbus is going to be a huge problem if it does come down. So let's. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that, you guys, too. I think I'm going to take this Demir signet. And this turn, if they don't. Well, they already drew. I didn't draw step. So now they can get on burial rights like an Abyssal Spectre. This is what, Racto Signet? Yes. And they can Unburial Rites this turn still. So they Unburial Rites a Carnage Gladiator or an Abyssal Spectre, which is actually like kind of bad against both our Spire Monitor and Golem. They do have Spirits though. Drotch, I like using the Snipping Tool. They did it on burial rights. I don't know why Chai gets in a fuss about it. That's a very good question. Uh, I guess we can auger and see where that ends us up. Grasp of Phantoms is interesting. For the first time ever. Well, we sent the Denrova Horror to the bottom, which I don't like, but. We did draw a Grasp of Phantoms, which is pretty good. And we get to bounce whatever next turn. Because they still can't cast. Like, whatever it is that they that they play, we can just bounce. So, I think we attack with... Uh, Golem, Spire Monitor, and then Tumor Exarch. Yeah, we'll probably end up grasping the Niv. So let's go like this. Let's go attack with Tumor, Spire Monitor, Golem, and I think also Seagate Oracle. We'll probably end up blinking. I ended up having a bunch of spells cast into Chalice when I got banned. Yes. You've gotten banned twice on this stream. That was one of them. Sure. They probably want to throw- oh, yeah, that's, this is fine. We don't need to draw step it anymore. We could blink on draw step again though. <laughs> I, I guess we know they have on burial rights in hand. I'm not super worried. I think I wanna blink my wing splicer to get another golem. I wanna keep the pressure up knowing what they have. They still have rights and niv. Oh snap, they found there is a guild gate. What is this on burial rights? No? 
No, it is on burial rights. We could have taken the guild gate if you did a draw step. Oh, right, because Entomber does take lands, huh? Non-creature. Huh. That's interesting. I don't know if it's right. That would have been sick. Yes. It would have been sick. I don't know if it's right, but it would have been sick. Uh, cast with flashback. Targeting the splicer. So, maybe we can evil twin copy copying the abyssal specter. If we draw a land, we can copy Niv and grasp it. Oh, like copy. You're right. We can do that. We have to save Twin to copy Niv Mizzet. So we want to go like Evil Twin and then bounce their Niv Mizzet. So we need to have, yes, eight mana in order to do all of that. Grasp two times is a two turn clock. They're at 13, so I guess if we do, like if we were to grasp right now the Abyssal Spectre, bounce with a golem, they block with a spirit, we can attack with everybody else too. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go Swamp. Actually, I didn't wanna play that Swamp. I would have wanted to play it on the turn where I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna send it with a golem. And just the golem, I want to leave this back to block the Abyssal Spectre. I'm glad that it's a command here. It makes me happy. <laughs> you feel like Grass Spectre and Beats? The problem with Solemn Storm is that we know that, ooh, they are blocking here. Interesting. That is actually fine. They might own burial rights to bring it back. We know that Nimbus is going to come down this turn, so we really need a. Why not attack with both flyers? Goody, I didn't think they were going to block with Abyssal Spectre. And I don't want Abyssal Spectre connecting because we need both these cards in hand. So this has to be Niv. Red, black, need another red. This does not look like Niv. Fuck. No, it's not the end of the world. We'll have to evil twin still when they... When they play Niv. Niv costs black blue to activate so they can do it twice per turn. Bring back Abyssal Spectre, sure. Uh, I think we ba attack with our Golem. And if they attack with Abyssal Spectre, we just discard Swamp and that's fine. Hey Talavar, how are you? You think we just sit here, DC? We don't really need to play Swamp anymore either. I'm just gonna hold on to it, I think. Grasp of Phantoms doesn't really do anything here. 
Why would we not bounce a token in response? <laughs> Read the fun card, a moon. Or a moo, oh seven. Filter cleanse is good. Cackling counterpart is also good. Uh, we can't grasp. We'll just cackling counterpart copying wind splicer at the end of their turn. So let's just go where's our guild gate and pass. You think we should mill them? I really don't think we should mill them. They have cards like Unburial Rites in their deck. And two more Exarch. We still have Denrova Horrors and stuff in our deck. I don't think milling them is correct here. It might be. It might be DC. I'm not sure. So they still have Niv. Flashback Forbidden Alchemy, sure. Well, they don't have a. What I'm saying though, Gobo, is they have the kind of deck that utilizes Unburial Rites. Uh, what's his face? And Tumor Exarch, etc. What did they discard with that? Abyssal Spectre. Oh, like Mountain, Mountain. They still can't cast Niv. They cast Pilfered Plans? Sure. Uh, I might want to copy and two more Exarch next turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that this turn, Molly. Copy Exarch and see what they discarded. Because I just want also... Hey, look, they milled the flashback card. What did they mill? What did they mill? They have eight cards in the library. Get them. <laughs> Yeah, well, their Niv is... Oh, they mailed us? Oh, that's right. They did give us a free card. They gave us a momentary blink. That's kind of gas. Okay. Uh, I think I want to Cackling Counterpart copying Exarch to see what they actually got. Cackling Counterpart copying Exarch. Or we could just blink Exarch. And then play Azure Mage. Or... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could go Azure Mage, Momentary Blink, Blinking, then Tumor Exarch. That's better because I'd rather Cackle and Counterpart this to get another Golem. So let's go Momentary Blink, this. One, two, three, four. I think I'd rather see their hand. Oh, god damn. I could have gotten back horror. Yeah, maybe that was just better. They have Niv, Sin Collector, and a Stump. I figure they found something better with... I guess they didn't. Send in with this. Yeah. Is that a second on Burial Rites? Oh, is it a second on Burial Rites? It is. That's true, Molly. I kind of just wanted to see what was what was in their hand, but... The good thing is that we can Cackling Counterpart Exarch to get back to Nerva Horror next turn, so... Yeah, I think they milled the second on Burial Rites, because the other one is in Exile. Yeah, they do have two.
Niv. Sure. So, what is the best way to deal with this Niv? Grasp of Phantom Slashback is 8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And Evil Twin is not quite. So, we don't have enough to Evil Twin Flashback Grasp of Phantoms this turn. Um. Yeah, I wanted to bounce it in the same turn, DC, but I think that's not going to pan out very well. Not going to pan out the way I wanted to. So, I think we're just going to evil twin and... This is seven. We could also make a copy of, like, and two more eggs to get back to Rogue Horror. So, one, two, three, four... Copy Niv. Okay. And then we can Cackling Counterpart to get back Exarch to get back Horror, and then we can use the Horror to bounce Niv. Is this a... You have to draw a card? You may draw a card. They can activate it. Yeah, my wind splicer is dead. They drew? That's ambitious. <laughs> the problem now is that we don't want a cackling counterpart when they can activate Nith twice targeting the tumor exarch. That is like an active concern. Niv only draws with damaging players. Damage to a player, I see. Okay. I like that they're tapping out here. They still have a lot of activations up, though. Sin Collector. That's fine. Collect my sins. So, they, they have too many activations up right now for me to... Copy and Tumor Exarch. Why does a Nip die to religion rule? What semantic of the rule I'm missing? Sammy, the, the rule has changed, I think, since you last played, is what's happening here. Um, so I'm going to try to draw with Azure Mage. Well, Denial is not bad. And they're still not activating mist. This is gas. I can now uh, counter Niv on the way down. So let's go Grasp of Phantoms, targeting Niv. One, two. Th I was confused why you didn't cackle. I thought they always had two activations up, but I, I might be wrong about that. Yeah, because I'm looking for a window to actually blink the Exarch, so... If I miss a window, I, I thought they always had two activations up, because we got to do it when they only have one. Man, this this evil twin work doesn't miss it. 
Could you just destroy it with twin? Well, I can't bounce it right now. They're targeting my Azure Mage, sure. What are they targeting now? My Wing Splicer? Fine. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna counter that on the way back down. We're gonna attack with this. Oh, to destroy it? Sure, part of the thing is I also want to get the Nervoba Horror back. I guess we could just let it resolve. Like, I'm gonna use Soul Manipulation to get back to Nervoba Horror no matter what, so... I also want to attack with Niv, I want to kill my opponent. Uh, yeah, let's counter this. Counter target creature spell, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. This and this. I don't really like letting it resolve at this point, that just tops your dragon for nothing. I mean, I'm just- I'm trying to kill him in two hits of, of my own Niv, so... Spike Jester? Okay. And Gnawing Zombie? Those don't really do anything. They're at zero cards. Uh... Yeah, so let's bash with Niv. We can go- I don't even know that the Robot Horror does anything. We can make him discard, like, the Entumor Exarch. Combo assembled, Miss Meta Witch and Dinroba Horror. It is very sweet. <laughs> okay, so let's attack with Niv. I would like to draw a card. And two more Exarch. Does that give me anything sweet? You like killing the zombie? Well, we're gonna have him discard the zombie. Two, three, four, five, six. Dinrova horror. Bounce you. You go to the bin. It is nice when your opponent is helping and you have Dinrova horror. That feels great. <laughs> uh, Miss Meta Witch, we can't activate yet if we play it, so I think I'm just gonna play a Signet. And a Wall of Denial, probably. Red Crick attack all, please. What we're about to. No need to die. Oh, so they did have that second on burial rights. Sure. Uh, maybe just Cackling Counterpart to bounce this. They only have one card in hand, right? So, we could also... Because otherwise they just shoot down my Miss Meadow Witch, which I really don't want them to. They don't want to, yeah, so let's just cast this with flashback. Ah, me too! I don't know why there is a Spike Jester there, that's a good question. I think they're Dobbs. We're about to see. We'll bounce their Niv Mizzle. And then we can attack with our Niv Mizzle. 
We could have tapped to kill it, but then that just gives them an extra turn. They have stuff to do. They're hitting me. Oh, they want a card so they don't have to discard, dis discard Niv. What could they possibly have for this amount of mana that stops them, this Niv from attacking? This is game one, yeah. It's been a long game. <laughs> What did they discard? An island? Mm. Okay. They could have terminate, but that's it. Yeah, terminate could get us, I guess. So, I think we want... Night terrors against this opponent. Does Cower and Fear do much? They have Lingering Souls. They have... They have Lingering Souls and they... What else did they have that was good against that? Is it Timeout Tuesday? We're only a minute behind them. Don't worry, you guys. We're not going to time out. It feels like Spike Jester kills us. Hey, Shiny. Welcome back with a nameless race if you guys can get to my below. Dino the horror op. Gabby Viper Gabby Viper Gabby Viper Gabby Viper Gabby chair. I'm gonna kinda blink. Dance channel's great. You know like Spire Monitor? We have Abyssal Spectre, I like Spire Monitor. Ling between Lingering Souls and Abyssal Spectre, I like having that card. Oh no, strong. <laughs> I like the dance channel a lot. I enjoy it quite a bit. Wall of Denial. Thank you, Fulsa. There you go. No attacks. Um, I am gonna Exarch here. Let's see what's going on in their hand. Uh, 
Augur Spray, Forbidden Alchemy, and two more Exarch. Uh, I think we take Augur Spray because we want our Denrova Horror to live. And yeah, we just pass. Right, and they can Forbidden Alchemy this turn, which is okay. Well, we would have been fine against Spike Jester. We had Wall of Denial. We had a Dredge Gate Zombie. So Augur Spree's gone. Forbidden Alchemy's gone. It draws Swamp for the turn. So we're gonna play Exarch. Are they gonna get something back or are they gonna Exarch us? They're gonna Exarch us. That's fine. Oh my god. Didn't Rova Horror I wanna say DC? I don't know, it's hard. I took our soul manipulation. I think we just Exarch again. Yeah, we take the guild gate. I was hoping this was better. The last card they drew. Sensor Splicer, we're probably going to grasp the token. Still kind of no attacks here, but we're starting to set up to Denrova Horror and start copying. We can go Denrova Horror, copy Denrova Horror, copy Denrova Horror. And as long as we don't draw Niv, we are going to be in okay shape, I think. See ya, Caspat. Wondering Souls is fine. I mean, it's annoying. Obviously. They flash it back. I would really love to draw land here. They had zero cards in hand. Please, 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 please. Pilfered plans and they targeted themselves this time. Grizzly Spectacle, Abyssal Spectre. They still have two in hand. Right, that was your draw for the turn. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right, Molly. You're right, I could have just had them discard the Talent Trooper. I kind of just wanted to kill the tokens because I didn't want him to trade with my Tenrova Horror because then I was just going to bounce the talent trooper the following turn, but yeah, that was, like, definitely bad. That was deaf bad. Um, let's make a bunch of copies here. So let's go Tasmal Image, copying to Nerova Horror. Uh, I don't want him to recast Sensor Splicer, so I am just gonna throw the talent trooper back, I think. Have them discard something. Rack the signet, sure. And then copy this one. Bounce our spear and have them discard something again. Bouncing the talent trooper seems fine. This turn. I definitely don't want to bounce the sensor splicer. We got a gnawing zombie. Alright, so this and this. Get in. 
the next turn we can grasp whatever they do. How much is grasp flashback? Seven, eight. So we need one more. Wing Splicer is not bad. I think I'm just bouncing and bashing with everybody and playing Wing Splicer. Definitely not the Entombor though, they just put that in front of here. They're trying to take one down. The evil twin one. Alright, that makes sense. So we want to go Talon Trooper, Sensor Splicer, Spirit. What you got? Opponent's got a little something something. Graceful Reprieve, what does that do again? When Terra Kutcher dies this turn, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. So let's not... Let's just kill the Talon Trooper, and then the Splicer doesn't die. It targeted the um, Tensor Splicer. So they just kind of blew that card on nothing. Maybe a play splice her to hold their own wrath. I kind of don't want to. I think we have a higher chance of losing to them playing the visit and like pinning down all of our board than we do to them playing a wrath. So I'd rather play my own splice. Her. Hey, Rude Cap. Good afternoon, with a Gabby. Good afternoon to you too, Rude Cap. Welcome back with that 20 month three. So if you guys can we get some hyper love and hype in chat for that 20 month return, it is much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If we draw a land, we can just grasp a phantoms, bounce this, attack with everybody. They have something else? Carnage Gladiator? Ooh! Mist Meadow Witch is very good draw. Let's go Mist Meadow Witch. Uh, Mist Meadow Witch bouncing. My Denrova Horror. Right, and then they don't have very good blocks. Okay, yeah. Bounce my Denrova Horror. One, two. I think I just want to... Do I even really want to bounce or do I just want to attack with my Denrova Horror? Maybe I just want to attack with both of these. What game is this? This is game two, but it's not going to go to game three. Gladiator just kind of kills them, right? Like, it seems bad for them. Oh, it's slow flicker. At the beginning of the next end step. Double okay, dying row, the delight feels good, man. Hey, Gobo Skiller, welcome back with a two month three sub. It is much appreciated. You know what? I'm just gonna bash with everybody. I think. I can't bounce whatever he blocks because it's. This is a token, so this token just dies. So I'm just gonna. Oh, I could. Yeah, I could bash the spirit. I could send this with this too. And then just bounce this and like, let's see how they block. They take three from the Carnage Gladiators, they have to block these. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna bash like that and then... Sure. 
sure. So they're taking six. They're dying if they walk like this. No, they're not. All right, our opponent give up. Sweet, we did it. So what are we, two, one with that? That's not bad. Not bad.